Picking back up here with this Sardinia example. So let's hop over to Google Earth and check it out. Sardinia right here in the Mediterranean. And it's somewhere on this bit of coast. Okay. So it's uh, right here. And turn the place marks off, get a good look. So let's uh, check out a good image. There's a good one. Okay, so uh, the idea is a nice clean contour along the coast. This could be former coastline, like a, similar to a beach ridge or coastal dune, just a submerged former coastline could be that. And uh, then we have another similar feature back here. We've got this guy going like this and going across and yeah and noteworthy here this angle these uh this rectangular end here if you see that so i would say that is non-trivial that's a fairly interesting detail possible right angle here just abrupt notch there and possible ang angular end over here something slightly angular okay and then what did I just see I just saw um, oh, an angle right there maybe it could be natural but a little slightly abrupt okay and then a second ago I saw no nah, it's probably nothing okay um, and then one other image had okay actually check out this possibly angular feature here might be natural okay just jumped out at me all right well um, let's uh, go to one other image one other year had a, a good photo a half decent um, look at this area I think it's this one 2013 so if we get a look at 2013 2017 so possible angular thing here, persistent feature, and then this long groove, some type of maneuver or a natural coastline. This line looking very straight and again that angle eh, a little weird. And then this uh, kind of echo of the similar type of feature. And even something like this, like that right there. Something came in and took a bite out of out of the coast potentially. Uh, just just a possibility, just something I'm considering. And then looking like like we see this line here, and this possible other lines. Although you know that might be image. Yeah, that's image stitching. Sorry about that. I'm just seeing if it seems to have any similar features along the coast. Possible stuff here. Nothing super definitive. Um, we're here, kind of a straightest line. Interesting. Maybe nothing. Mm, okay, well, uh, so right here, it's a pretty common thing, or I've seen it at least a couple places, this nice clean curve underwater. Um, and then we also see it uh, on land as well and yeah just possible linear aspects in uh, various locations here especially this corner here and possibly here something so um, potential weirdness surprise surprise Okay, and it is, uh, let's see, there's one more example right here that uh, is worth a quick look, uh, just over here, other side of the island. Here we have, I just noticed this, uh, kind of looks like a 
nice clean sides to this thing here, like as if something came in and did something to the coast here and then, uh, or it could be natural water erosion, just uh, centralized around the center of this um, little bay thing or whatever. Uh, just I'm just noticing some kind of clean edges there. Okay, could be nothing, could be something. And then the place mark I had was right here. Uh, possible uh, tool gap or, you know, gap like I'm calling it, similar thing. Possible angular feature there. Maybe this as well here. Uh, but I was referring to this guy. And maybe something, maybe nothing. Maybe something here as well. Maybe this. Okay, uh, those are all maybes. Okay, I just happened to notice this out of the corner of my eye, but it's an interesting look here. Like, again, the idea of something sweeping along and uh, coming in and uh, just working its way in and then so we see like this curve, this curve, this curve, and then this one is the one that jumps out at me. And then actually right here as well. Could be nat and possible abrupt angular end there. Could be natural feature. Certainly just happens to jump out at me. Uh, and doing something maybe right there, but. Yeah, it's another maybe. Um, maybe this. It's, I'm trying to see if these features move or uh, if they're persistent. So here in 2009, I think we see these curved features still there. So maybe something okay uh but yeah i just wanted to point out this gap over here all right so one more time jump back over to this area i was showing you and then uh i want to compare it to a spot in spain so uh so we we're just looking over here this nice uh curve along the coast here Right, so we're just looking at this. Now, uh, let's check out this place in Spain over here, not too far away. Uh, it's like this general area in Spain. Okay, so we'll zoom in here and see what we see. And it's uh, basically the same deal, like a nice clean contour along the coast, this guy. I think I showed this in a previous video, um, but uh, yeah, maybe natural, maybe not, and then this nice uh, curve here as well, and potentially natural stuff. Then these, uh, this kind of straight array of rocks like this across. Mm. Yeah, I can see that being natural as well. Uh, like see from here to here, it's looking has an interesting look to it. Uh, but then like right here, it gets along this stretch of it, it gets kind of mechanical and precise almost. So like see, almost mechanically precise going on there. of call, but a little lumpier here and a little more precise over here. Uh, and then here's more of the uh, stretch of um, curves and possible artificial contours. Some straight lines jutting out there, possibly, possible like 
entry and exit paths here. Uh, like this is kind of awkward. Um, okay, and in a second I'll turn my place marks back on. Okay, so we've got this, maybe natural, this stuff. And also, if you look closely, there's a whole bunch of angular stuff back here, or at least some faint indications of it um, back here. Okay, so got this. Decent look at that. I'm trying to check out the best year for this. Um, this linear path, pretty common thing. Let's look at that in context. So, I mean, that's pretty abrupt right there. Can we agree on that? Check that out. Uh, so I'd say that's actually a pretty strong example of uh, artificial path of some kind. Um, and then here it continues. So either it's like a natural long crack or fissure in the rock, or it's something artificial and weird. Or we have another like kind of artificial bare spot maybe. Yeah, like see this long clean groove kind of, and here more indications of like linear or linear-esque maneuvers, possible something angular there. Yeah, I actually really like this example. I can't, I barely even remember this one, but this is, I would say, a pretty strong one. And I, I mean, I guess it might be a pipe or something, but we don't see much of it up here. It's just kind of like a, uh, like here's the rock and then here's a, a, something barreled through the rock. And you see the clean ridge of it there. You know, feel a little silly if it's a pipe, but then again, um, I don't know, like where's the, the mouth of it and why did they need to barrel through the rock like this? Like, we don't see it up here. Um, and then also this linear feature across, if you see that, this going on there. So, Some good examples. Um, okay, so yeah, basically just more of the same here. Possible entry paths and exit paths of something and linear feature here, another one. Um, seemingly like collinear with this river or at least very closely or almost collinear, um, parallel at least. Got this little riverway, and then this just jutting out here with these uh, clean things. This might be modern work. Yeah, I'm. Uh, this, these might be like joint joints of a pipe. So maybe I should shut up on this one. Might just be a pipe. I still think there might be something weird with pipes, though. Believe it or not. Okay, and then the thing going along the coast, almost angular there. Here we have a, another stretch of it. And here we have what I'm calling a gap or a tool path, which may be there, might be something. Possibly, and then this maybe. Uh, 
A lot of these are a tough call because it's kind of a messy looking area with the, the bedrock seems to be doing all kinds of stuff. So like here, the bedrock seems to have a linear component to it. But then this trajectory is not looking like it's continuous with that. Like we have this more or less linear natural flow of the rock, presumably. And then this is like kind of discontinuous with that which doesn't mean it's not natural, but just food for thought, I guess. And just more and more of the same stuff, really. So, probably move on in a moment. Possible edges here of something. All right. Hopefully that's plenty. Yeah. And then there's, there might be some stuff back here. Um, linear paths, uh, skip that, that might be modern. Likely, yeah. Okay. Um, so this angular stuff, which is maybe modern and then uh, anything else? I saw a couple things back here. Like maybe even like this. And uh, what else? Just a number of subtle things back here. That, that might be something, might not be like this bare line right here. Uh, let's go ahead and Place mark that. Line is modern. Okay, so it could be from fishing or something or whatever. Might even be recent. Hard to tell exactly when it pops up. Oh, it might be part of this fishing operation here. Let's see. Dag Nebit. I kind of lost that image. Well, whatever it is. Mildly interesting. But yeah, if you want to hunt back here, you might find some interesting stuff. Okay, and one, one last time, I want to revisit this really cool example right here. I think this is a really good one. If it's a pipe, then it's just interesting that it's such a clean uh, breakup of rock or along a clean path. Um, here, I, I, I find that interesting, the possible similar thing there, just a long clean gap there. Awesomes. Okay. Um, let's jump back to our images and see what's next. So we got this guy and then let's hop over to Herm Island in the UK and check out some of this stuff. The, the underwater lines and uh, segmented uh, weird little polygons and stuff. Uh, and then We'll also check out Quiberon, France, same same type of deal. So let's start with Herm Island here. So here it is. And uh, roughly like between France and Great Britain. And the gist of it is some lots of lines and paths. So whether it's dredging, trawling, any number of uh, uh, bottom work on the ocean floor uh, for modern purposes or something else. 
So like this line is pretty weird to me. There it goes, and it's kind of obscured by the glare here, but um, yeah, see, it just kind of continues up there. You see it? Okay. Looks like only, well, I guess this image is half decent. But we have these uh, these rectangular things, which may be noteworthy, like these these gashes or gouges may be no noteworthy. Uh, hard to tell whether that's a modern device or not. Tough to say, maybe lobster traps or something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah, some of these lines here, like this line, this line, some of these like possible parallel lines there. If it's a heavy traffic area, it's it's tough. It's a tough call. But um, and then we also have this line here, which may be natural. Uh, but we kind of see it continue across the island like as this line here and then just kind of do that and there's a bunch of little offshoots lots of similar lines in the area so some ocean floor anomalies this one almost a curve here you can see and then also the other side Potentially, unless my eyes are playing tricks on me. Possible curve, curve something. But yeah, this path does look like it's there. Okay. And possible angular, like patchy chunking type maneuvers, like uh, abrupt angular edges and stuff like that, potentially. Like right here, maybe, nah, it's a tough call. Line right here, possibly. Here and here. Okay, and um, what about over here on this side? Here we have some linear stuff, fairly linear anyway. Possibly continuing there. Possibly natural even, so keep that in mind. Okay, so let's hop over to, what was the next one? Quiberon, France. Okie dokie, and my places, so I think, yeah, I just wanted to show some of these guys, these, like, and then, like, nice little angle there. So there's a chance that these are modern devices or fishing something, I don't know breakwaters or what have you, uh, but there's lots of these weird, yeah, here we go. Again, just the idea of gibberish patterns for their own sake. Here's where that image was that I had. And the image is a little too dark, but you can still kind of see these. Uh, uh, oddly shaped, kind of segmented um, areas. There we go. Like, see all these these things. So, whatever that is. Okay. Okay. 
So um, let me make sure I hit everything I wanted to hit in this area. Just kind of get a good feel for whatever this is. Let's measure that real quick. Uh, not very wide, about 30 feet across, okay. One of these stripes, linear path there or something. Uh, lots of stuff that could be this, could be that, could be the other. So just pointing out what I'm seeing and you can make your best guess and I'll make my best guess. Or better yet, you can do some research. <laughs> that's uh, that's always better than a guess, I guess. And I'm perhaps guilty of not doing as much or as deep of research as I could on some of these examples. Okay, uh, Angular Ridge, got that one. And there's one more thing I want to show over here. Actually, what is this? Rectangular feature emerging, possibly. Mm, might be something modern going on there, or like an old uh, archaeological wall or something. And then possibly another thing here. So possibly this line here, and then I've got a rectangle. Um, and then this area right uh, across the way, uh, let's place marks back on, we're looking at all these ridges and walls over here, and then uh, similar thing uh, right over here, so um, that, um, but I'm going to revisit this one in a moment. Um, I wanted to go over to Hawaii for a minute to check something out. And actually right here we have possible gap this way, right? And then right along the coast, possible, again, the idea of something just sculpting. So nice clean, clean curve here. If you see that pretty large scale, uh, could be natural, maybe not. Possible line like this. So maybes, some maybe stuff. Maybe. All right. Uh, yeah, this guy, and then this guy maybe all right um but let's go to hawaii real quick to check out some similar stuff hawaiian islands Let me get my place marks going and i'm not going to show you all of these i'm just going to show you a couple um if I can find it, these, uh, yeah, they're, they're fish ponds, allegedly. And, um, presumably they are used for fish ponding, <laughs> but there's like a lot of these. I wonder whether they're retrofitted from previous weird patterns or whether they're just not fish ponds at all. So some of these are legit fish ponds. Maybe they're just former legit fish ponds, you know, like just uh, old activity. Here we've got this rectangular stuff, which may be um, maybe modern. Here, more crisp one, and then more uh, looking like an older one, possibly a decommissioned one or something like that. So these may, there may be some of these that are uh, just weird patterns that 
it's a possibility in my opinion. So uh, I think that's all I have to say on that. But let's go back to Quiberon, France and make one more point here. So last point I wanted to make here was uh, this little star fort guy. So we have this uh, this kind of feature here, which almost has like a an abrupt elbow, like right here, possibly, and uh, possible lines in other directions as well. But this feature going like this and continuing like that, looking a little weird. Again, the idea of some type of maneuver along the coast, possibly like so. Maybe. And then um, there's a gap here, which is interesting. This gap, uh, slightly abrupt. Let's look at it in a couple different years. Maybe natural, maybe not natural. Looking fairly crisp there, just a gap in see kind of faint continuation of it there potentially all right so whatever uh, but there's a 360 photo here so let's jump into this guy so I think we can see this gap right here it's like like this is the side of it so it's fairly coarse but at the same time um, fairly uniform. Uh, this may not even be the same gap, but it looks like it might be. So, uh, whatever's on that. Parallel lines, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, first of all, we're here at us, this big star fort thingy. What's it called? Uh, or fort de Pentevere, uh, whatever. So presumably this is some old structure and uh, I guess I'll just reiterate the possibility that uh, Earth is being used as like some type of game board for some high level strange game that's being played like, uh, like similar to how we would go to a theme park and play all sorts of games, even role playing games. So like if you know the board game Risk it's like maybe somebody's playing like a, a live action role play of the board game Risk, like with Earth, <laughs> like actual Earth. Um, so like as a tourist entertainment type deal or whatever, like wealthy aliens or I mean, I don't quite know how to contextualize it, but um, just something about the scale and the, um, the precision of these structures and then occasionally some of the derby details as well uh, strikes me as like out of place um, for the time period like and kind of inconsistent like the whole the whole knights and castles era I think it may be a setup like not that it didn't happen necessarily but it, it may have been like planned and uh, laid out according to um, you know, some sort of narrative that somebody wants to play out, like kind of like the, the TV show Westworld, kind of like that plot uh, component. So that's a star fort. And here you see it from above. A little off topic, I know, but it just caught my eye and Again, I, I see a lot of connections and or I, I attempt to draw connections between a lot of apparently disparate phenomena. So let's uh, let's leave Quiberon, France. Uh, Hermylan, we got it. Quiberon, France, we got it. And Cuba. Let's go to Cuba.
So it is right up here. And place mark is right here. One of these smaller um, sub islands, whatever island this is. And it's this feature. Initially, I thought it was an image glitch or like this image stitching issue, but it's kind of a persistent feature, it looks like. Just a, a groove along the floor of some kind and here looking very uniform and crisp. And here's a, a parallel uh, aspect to it, which has a, a different look to it, but certainly uh, parallel and somehow worth looking at in my opinion. And then uh, also there's this stuff like this groove here of this channel or riverway channel whatever so are these modern channels that's very possible uh, and then okay let's take a quick look back in time Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 2009, it's still there. We see it, whatever it is, can kind of see it continuing actually here. And this thing, just a short little tidbit here. So I'm not quite sure what that is. And here's another thing like this looking like I mean, is this for navigation right here? It just kind of stops right here. That's interesting. Um, actually, it almost looks like it continues faintly, perhaps. Okay, but there's this. Is this like a modern dredging dealy bobber? And we see another little offshoot there. It certainly could be like just deepening the channel for navigation purposes. For sure. Uh, this looking very similar, um, or at least kind of straight there. And then here, just kind of dead ending again. And maybe it is for navigation. I don't know. Shipping routes or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's possible. How about like this guy right here? Kind of a similar thing here, actually. Almost like a dead end here and shoots off that way. I could be wrong, that might be natural. I just wonder how many of these little things are natural. Here we have some kind of straight feature, you see that? Suppose that could be natural. Another straight feature here. This looking very uniform and and uh, um, straight, at least along a certain stretch of it. Okay, so obviously there's always more to find, but just focusing on this guy. It's something. It's nothing. It's whatever's and possibly this is a continuation of it. yeah like so it continues over here faintly if you really squint you can kind of see it and, uh, and there's uh, this here's a good example of like an artificial so it's maybe modern because it seems to end up at this like little pier thing uh, maybe hmm a lot going on. All right. Uh, okay. I'm seeing a straight line there. And a nice straight line there. Ugh. Also something there. See that? It's faint, but it's there. So, something, something. <laughs> That's helpful, right? Something, something. 
something with some kind of explanation behind it. Some kind of something which is somehow explainable by some explanation. Okay, that, that'll do it for Cuba for now. And um, let's keep trudging along. Sardinia, so we're gonna do a couple of these lines on this theme of the, the line kind of perpendicular to the coast. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll hop back over to Sardinia, somewhat near where we started this video, and check this guy out. So, so yeah, we saw this curve along the coast at the beginning of the video, and then uh, this straight lines-ness is what I want to focus on, somewhat nearby, not too far away, about, I don't know, a couple miles, Ugh. 12 miles away, not too far. So it is these lines jutting out from the uh, coast. And we do have some modern piers and jetties, obviously. So uh, best not to get them confused or just acknowledge that they're there. So we see it faintly there in 2003. It's not the best photo of it, uh, but... There it is, and good image of it here in 2015. So let's reorient ourselves here and start at the top. So not seeing much of it up here. I suppose it could be a pipe. Maybe there's part of part of it sticking up there. Uh, let's get a feel for the width of it. And it is pretty small, about 17 feet across, and then it's continuing. Here we see a very clear, crisp gap there, so it's something. Um, here, continuing, and yeah, like wider here, and continues and continues along thin line now, uh, and it's wider. And continues out pretty far out into the ocean, it's still going. So let me measure that real quick. Or are we roughly right there? And okay, so almost a mile out into the ocean. So it's some, if it's some kind of pipe, it's like a really pretty heavy duty operation going. It's a mile long pipe. I mean, if it were just drainage, you wouldn't need to drain a mile out into the ocean, right? Maybe it's an underwater cable or something like that. I could be, um, it's very possible. And we have another similar thing right here. So let's check out this one. We've got a straight feature and maybe even another one right here, actually. Yeah, looking like it. So got this guy. And then probably other stuff we could point out as well. Uh, like I said, always more defined, but let's just check out a couple different years. So this one actually has a contour to it. See that looks like maybe, unless it's two features intersecting, so, or like it might continue straight there. And this is another feature branching off, but here we have the straight lines, whatever that is, of some kind, and then uh, these, this line here, I think it's just image stitching or similar, so that's not really there, I think, but pretty clear thing here, and here almost looking like, yeah, like some type of buckle or uh, brace to hold the pipe down if it's a pipe, so so there's a chance that this is just a modern pipe or electric, electrical cable or optical cable or something like that, or um, yeah, oil pipeline or whatever it might be. So let's keep that in mind before I 
start dumping too much craziness down your throat. Okay, so uh, similar to this, we have, let's go back to images, Sardinia, uh, Saco Bay in Maine. So let's check this one out. And this may be the same type of thing, whatever it is. So this is in the vicinity of uh, this cartoonish river, or so I've called it, in Maine, and some other goofy weirdness in Maine. And what is it? So here's the linear feature right here. And then, I guess I'll skip most of the other stuff. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Okay, so Sacco Bay in Maine, got this long feature. Here's another thing, let's, uh, you know, that may be image rendering or something, or just a fishing or modern wall of some kind. Okay, so let's check out the straight guy, straight thing, whatever that is, dark streak. And a lot of these features I, ha I remember seeing before, but I can't quite make them out anymore. So I don't know whether the, the Im images have been replaced with better ones or shittier ones, or um, maybe for storage reasons, they just discard older images, a certain percentage of older images as newer images come in or whatever. Here, I would say interesting possible parallel thingamajigs, just a little awkward. Okay, so let's look at a few different images here. Let's start back in 1998 and work our way forward. So here's this thing over here looking pretty stark in 1998, whatever it is. Or, uh, it's prominent. Again, maybe a pipe or something like that. Here's this. And anything else? Not really, okay. 2003, this is a great image. Uh, you see it here. Okay, it just kind of peters out here. And here we see this thing here, kind of dotted. In uh, 1998, it was looking more studly or uh, robust. Now it's looking slightly submerged or deteriorated. Uh, okay, 2003, 2007, just looking at this line here. So, not sure what it is. Food, food for for thought, and maybe something this way, maybe not. Okay. Uh, possible angular stuff here, maybe not. Oh, I, I wanted to measure it. That's what I wanted to do. So it's roughly what two hundred feet, maybe. Uh, nine, 800, 900 feet. So I suppose that could be drainage, certainly. We have this stuff. So this is like looking like a modern jetty to me, most likely, almost certainly. Uh, this just seems to have a different look to it, but I could be wrong. Could just be a different type of jetty or breakwater, like an underwater one that's doesn't need to be quite as precise for whatever reason, like some type of modern project. And 
while I'm over here, maybe just remind you of these parallel tool marks or whatever these are on the shore, this derpy thing, thingamajigs. So that's to be considered. And then this fairly straight natural feature, which, oh, look at that nice little curve there, maybe. Um, is this a modern feature here, this straight thing? Maybe natural. Um, here, nice straight edge here. So plenty to consider. Let's do a quick look back in time on this guy. Fairly straight there. Looking like a natural rig ridge of rock. It's just the, uh, I mean, I guess that could be natural. All right, so let's hop back to our images. See what else we got. I think we just have one more place left. So we just did this and that. And then, yeah, Port Phillip Bay in Australia. We've got this underwater rectangle with dots. Dots, 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 dots. And just a different year here. Persistent dots of some kind. And yeah, so this, this will be the last example in this video. So let us zoom out here. It's on uh, southern Australia, uh, across from Tasmania Island. Um, I think here's Melbourne over here somewhere or up here. And uh, where is this thingamajig? Here, it's right here. Yes, yeah, so if you want to look at it yourself, I think Melbourne is like right over here yeah east melbourne yeah so here's melbourne and then just down the coast over here you can uh, see this uh or actually right here see this rectangle thingy so let's look back there it is this angular dealy bobber year 2000 don't see it. So presumably it's like emerging over time as the sediment uh, erodes away. Uh, so pretty clear here in 2006, might even be new in 2006. So there's a chance this is a modern project. Uh, just not quite clear what it is. Still quick measurement of it. It's certainly not too big, about 200 feet across and 150 feet wide or so. And then these dots are about, what, 10 feet wide or so? Oh, just like a couple feet wide. I mean, could even be like a modern art installation or something like that. But uh, in my best guess, it's some type of um, structure emerging as the uh, the sediment is uh, moved away. And here we see the dots still and the, the structure. And I, if I, if memory serves, I seem to recall seeing some slightly suggestive uh, similar angular features in the area. So not much change over the years. Quite a few photos to choose from. Pretty cool. This is a good one. Yeah, I got the, the strong dots. So maybe these are like, I don't know, just stones, or rocks. And looking for anything else. I don't think I'm gonna find anything, but uh, Maybe some, maybe none. Okay. 
So it wouldn't surprise me if like uh, possible angular stuff going on here. But uh, anyways, wouldn't surprise me if uh, this turns out to be like some type of quote ancient site, unquote, or something like that. And um, like I think there may be, there's certainly like legitimate ancient sites and then there's ones that, here we see kind of a continuation of it possibly like that. So even more of it is eroding away. It's possible, possible line there as well. Uh, so, I mean, if, if there was like archeological stuff found here, I don't know that we can trust that it's necessarily um, legitimate stuff. Like I think the earth was somehow like uh, saturated with um, strange false structures, as strange as that sounds. So I mean, just because this might turn out to be like some ancient significant uh, archaeological site doesn't mean it's from a lost culture. Like it could, it could just as easily be a plant. It might be from a lost culture, but um, if it bears the, the similarities of all the, the derpiness and the, the strange man, animal, gods and all that, then I think we might be dealing with some type of uh, head spin or a, a false setup, like a, a, a big kit of uh, phony civilizational stuff. But, and that's just in the case that this is even archaeological at all. It might just be random lines and it might even be a modern, modern thingamajig here. So that'll do it for uh, ocean floor anomalies. Up, up next we have uh, large biology. So that should be pretty fun. And check out that one in the next video. See you later.